Last week, we put together a simple algebraic formula based on percentages, using the worksheet view exclusive to WinTotal. This week, I'll show you how to create spreadsheets with cells as variables, which saves time, and also how to format your spreadsheets to make it easier to see what you're doing, which makes everything easier. When you create a spreadsheet, you should label everything. This will become vitally important as you build more and more complex spreadsheets. Also, group associated numbers into columns whenever possible. This is also helpful for finding sets of related data later on. Also important when creating your spreadsheets is to list every number you're going to use, making every number its own individual cell. Instead of hard coding the percentage numbers into the formula like we did last week, I've given them each their own cell. Then, in the final value equation, I'll use the corresponding cells instead of hard coding the percentages into the equation. The best and most useful formulas don't hard code any data. They only contain links from cells. What this does is creates a variable in the spreadsheet. Now I can come and change the percentages used to 85% of the sales approach, or even 70%. In fact, I'll go one step further. I'll make a small formula in the cost approach percentage cell that subtracts the percentage of the cost approach from 100% or 1. This automates the process of changing the percentages, so when I change the percentage of the sales approach, it automatically changes the cost approach percentage as well, keeping me at 100% the whole time. You can probably see that while I'm inputting the percentages as basic numbers, they're showing in the spreadsheet as a percentage. All I've done is change the cells formatting. I click and drag to select both cells, right click on them, and choose Format Cell, and change the type to a percentage. As a final change to the spreadsheet, I want to visibly indicate which of these cells is a variable, basically which cell am I going to change when I reuse this spreadsheet in another report. WinTotal already shows you which cells are linked cells using a color scheme. Red for cells receiving data from the forms, and yellow to indicate data being pushed back up into the forms. I'll just use a different color to indicate which cell is my variable. I right click the cell and go to Format Cell, make it fill with blue, and make the font white so I can see it better in the blue. I'll do the same thing to another blank cell and then label it as a key. Next week we'll move away from the worksheet and focus on some other helpful features built into WinTotal. But don't worry, we'll circle back to spreadsheets soon. See you next week!